And this is actually something you guys learned in hopefully in Algebra 1. But it is something that uh, when I was taking the test, I didn't read through the question and I was doing your key like really kind of quickly. And then I was like, oh crap, I didn't even like read and like slow down, which is gonna be the problem for you guys, especially when we get to these multiple choice questions and time is coming up. Make sure we're slowing down and understanding the question. And the main important thing guys is, if you can remember this statement, if P, if a function is differentiable, then it is continuous. And what we go by is a conditional statement. If P, then Q. Okay? This is true. Now, let's go and take a look at the um, inverse. All right, and what we're going to do is we're just going to look at the different kind of statements because you're going to be you're going to be presented with different with these statements in different forms. So we want to make sure we can just understand at least what is what we call logically equivalent. So the first one is, let's just look at the uh, inverse. If Q, then P. So if a function is continuous, then it is differentiable. Now, I think both the uh, answers that we heard today said, eh, it's possible, right? But again, that doesn't prove something is differentiable. So just because something is continuous doesn't mean it's differentiable. And the greatest example we have for that is the um, absolute value function, right? That's a continuous graph, but it's that V graph. It has the corner at 0. We know it's not differentiable at that point, And we saw that when we took the derivative of it. Same thing like the square root of x, right? Another example, y equals the square root of x. That's a continuous function, but it's not differentiable at that corner, which for the parent graph is just at 0, all right? Um, now let's go and look at the inverse. If a function is not differentiable, I'm sorry, the converse, is that what I said? It's not differential. Yeah. Then it is not continuous. So if a function is not differentiable, so if they so if we know if something's not differentiable, and that's kind of the then it is not continuous. Well again, we can just use the exact same examples here square root of x is not differentiable at 0, right? But it is definitely continuous. So again, this is a false statement. And this would be the if not p, then not q. But the one thing I just want to remind you, and I'm going over this practice because we're going to get into some other theorems later, and it's important to kind of understand what is logically equivalent and what's not. The converse and the inverse are always logically equivalent. So if one is false, that means the other is false, OK? Um, the conditional statement and its contrapositive, which is if not Q, then not P. So that statement is if a function is not continuous, then it is not differentiable. Okay, And I already wrote this down to you guys. Um, you guys already have this in your notes. But I really wanted to highlight this again, because when you guys are taking